Hey guys, Trish from CFP Trenton's Reconditioning Team. Here today for your functional core circuit. Uh, today we're going to do a Tabata. All that you need is a yoga mat. I'll give you a couple options for the exercises. We'll get started in about five minutes. Before we get started with the actual class, and as I wait for people to sign in, I'm going to answer a question that I was emailed last week. So I sent out something on our Facebook page last week about hamstrings and how to prevent injury and how to come back from injury with some strength training. Now somebody actually emailed me, which surprised me because I kind of assumed that nobody watches these. I kind of hope that nobody watches these and somebody actually wanted to know. Now what they wanted to know is why I wasn't including stretches. Now. I'm not including stretches because it depends on the person whether we should be stretching that muscle or not. And because this is in a virtual format, I can't do the assessment that's telling me where that hamstring stiffness is coming from. In a lot of cases, the hamstrings don't need to be stretched, but rather the hamstrings and the glutes need to be strengthened to address some postural instability and some postural imbalances. So what I'm talking about is actually a pelvic tilt. So a lot of people that end up with head hamstring strains are in a little bit of an anterior pelvic tilt. Why they are, we don't know. A lot of people end up this way because we sit too much, specific activities bring us here. It might be a position of comfort from a previous injury. But when we come into that posterior pelvic tilt, it's that little bit of that Kardashian look. You're sticking your butt out a little bit. You're getting a lot more curve through your low back, but also your hamstrings are coming into a lengthened position. So they're constantly in that lengthened position, but they're also tight in that, in that lengthened position, if that makes any sense to you. And so when we come to a hamstring strain, if you're in that population that's in that elongated hamstring posture already, we wouldn't want to stretch so much as we'd want to strengthen. A lot of the literature, hey, science, uh, actually shows that strengthening is one of the really only effective methods for our injury prevention. And when we're looking at the literature for rehab for a hamstring strain, it really is, again, depending on the person, but the strengthening is the important aspect. So when we're strengthening, we're using our eccentric uh, contraction where we're lengthening the muscle, but we're keeping the tension. We're strengthening as we lengthen. Uh, so that's why last week in my video, we went through uh, hamstring slides where you go through that long eccentric phase and then a little bit of power on the concentric phase and we went through deadlifts where again you lower slower going through that strengthening stretch and then contract up higher and there's that answer now I'll start talking about today's class because probably if you signed in for functional core, you really didn't care about your hamstrings. Uh, today we're going to do a Tabata. That means 20 minutes work, or 20 minutes. Well, actually, it does work out to a 20 minute Tabata, but 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. I've set up four supersets. So we're going to go through two exercises at a time, back and forth. Uh, you'll do four sets of each of the exercises in the superset, and then we'll take a minute rest before we move on to the next exercise. Uh, please make sure that you have some water. Uh, it is toasty warm outside, and I know I've turned off my air conditioner so that you guys can hear me. So I'm starting out with this nice dry shirt right now, but by the end of this, there's a chance we'll be able to wring it out. All right, it is three o'clock so I can actually get started. Hey guys, I'm Trish. I'm CFB Trenton's Reconditioning. Um, today we're going through a functional core circuit. 
It's going to be a Tabata. All you will need is a yoga mat and some water. In the description of this video, you will find our preamble. Uh, all exercise does come with some risks. There is a questionnaire in the preamble, the Get Active questionnaire put out by CSAP. This will allow you to assess your risks and your ability to initiate an exercise program. Now, today we are going to do Tabata, so it is not how I as the reconditioning team would generally train. Uh, these are exercises that if you have a low back issue, I'm going to advise that perhaps instead of doing this, you email me and I will send you something that is very spine safe. Uh, these are a little bit more gymnastic movements because in quarantine I have been working on a couple more gymnastics movements. Uh, it's a great way to strengthen your core uh, and turn Abe into abs. All right, your exercises are going to be uh, superset. So your first superset is going to be a jack pike plank paired with a snow angel pike up. Then we're going to go through mountain climbers and a runner's crunch, a bird dog and a dying bug, and a side plank leg lift with a Russian twist. So those are gonna be our exercises. I'm gonna do the demos for you. We'll do a quick warm up, and then the circuit itself is gonna be 20 minutes. Get it done, and then we're free for the day. All right, so your jack pike plank. You're gonna to come to a high plank position. Feet come out and in, like they would in a jumping jack. Up and back. Okay? If you want to take it down a level, out, in, stepping, pike, back. Okay? Exercise two the snow angel, pike, up. We're going to find our hollow hold. We're going to come out and up. Snow angel, Snow angel, pike. Okay, we'll go back and forth, four sets of each of those. Then we'll move on to the second set of exercises, which is a mountain climber. Find your high plank again, pulling the knees to the chest. And a runner's crunch. Again, we're gonna find that little bit of a hollow hold. Elbows are at 90 degrees, and we're gonna come up. Back down, up, up. Pulling those toes back towards yourself. Outside of the gymnastics world, we're not going to point our toes. Exercises five and six are a dying bird, bug and a bird dog. So we'll start with the bird dog. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Extending opposite arm and leg. Alternating sides. If you want to take this up a level, we can lift the knees. Coming to that hover position, same exercise, really working to keep the core stable, no movement through the core, just the extension of the arm and the leg. For our dying bug, we're doing the exact same movements, just upside down. We're gonna brace our core, we're gonna make sure that our back is neutral and braced, so we're not extending through the spine at all through this. Opposite arm and leg coming out from the body. Making sure that that space between the rib cage and the pelvis stays constant, so we're not arching the back. And our last exercises, for these, the side plank, we're gonna do two of each side, four all together. So our side plank leg lift, you can come from half plank if you want, or from full plank. And then our Russian twist. Just standard, you can do feet up, or feet down. 
There's our exercises. All right, meet me on your yoga mat. We're gonna get warmed up. Please turn on some music of your choosing. Otherwise, you're stuck with my voice this whole time. Uh, warm up's gonna be quick, and then we'll get right into the exercises themselves. Come on to hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And we're just gonna go through some cat cows. Arching up and down through your full comfortable range of motion. Push back to a downward dog. Let's step the right foot outside the right hand. Open, close, step back, downward dog. Left foot outside left hand. Open, close, step back. We're gonna do two more each side. And last one. Step back. Drop the knees back down. Drop the hips to the heels. Lock the right hand behind the back. Open and close. We'll do three times right. Then three times left. Good. Switch it over. Open and close. And back up to hands and knees. All right, guys, grab a quick drink. We're going to get started with the circuit itself. First exercises are a jack hike plank and our snow angel. We're going to go back and forth between those two doing four sets of each of them. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. And I'm going to tuck in my shirt to make me look extra cool. And so that I don't flash everybody watching. One minute and we're going to get started. Grab anything that you need. First exercises, jack pike plank, finding your high plank, remember, either stepping out or jumping out from here, then either pushing the hips back into a downward dog, or step or hopping your feet forward and back. Snow Angel. Open. And you're going to close up. Fifteen seconds. Let's get ready. Five. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, rest. Set up for your snow angel. Three, two, one, go. 
three, two, one. Good job. Back to our jack pipe plank. Set yourself up. Let's go. back over. Three, two, one. Slow and slow. times each. Come on back over to your plank. Let's go. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Good job. Flip it over. One more time each. Ready? Let's go. Good job. One minute rest, then we're switching to our mountain climbers and our runner's crunch. Shirt no longer dry. Twenty seconds, mountain climbers. Getting ready. Ten seconds. Let's find our high plank. Three, two, one. Let's go.
Three, two, one. Good job. Lift it back. Mountain climbers. Go. Rest. Two more times each. Mountain climbers. Go. Three, two, one. Rest. Runner's crunch. One more time each. Mountain climbers. Go. Runner's crunch. Go. And rest. Just over a minute of rest here. Grab a drink, wipe some sweat, whatever you need to do. Next ones are our bird dog and our dying bug. Remember, if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can lift the knees on the bird dog. Fifteen seconds and we'll get going. Let's come down to the mat. Hands under knees, or hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Three, two, one. Self over, dying bug. Three, 
two, one, rest, flip yourself over, bird dog, Flip yourself over, dang bug. One more time, done bug. Let's go. One minute rest. We're moving on to our last set of exercises. Our side plank with the leg lift. You can either do this from full plank or half plank. And our Russian twist. We'll start with our side plank leg lift. Let's go left arm down. So you're lifting the right leg. Second set will be right arm down. We'll flip back and forth. Fifteen seconds. Let's start to set ourselves up. Remember our body is stacked in a side plank position, shoulder over shoulder, hip over hip. Let's get ready. Let's go. for your Russian twist. Feet can be up or down, that's up to you. Let's go. Set up 
your side plank, right arm down. Let's go. Set up your Russian twist. Well, Set up your side plank, left arm down. Go. up your Russian twist. Set up your side plank, right arm down. Set up your Russian twist. Last time. Let's go. Done. Nicely done, guys. Grab a drink, do a couple stretches. We'll be on our way. Come on, meet me back on your yoga mat. Let's start in tall kneeling. Bring your left foot forward to half kneeling. Staying nice and tall through the body. Rocking forward to bring tension through the front of the right hip. We're gonna lift that arm up and over the body, keeping that tension. Release from there, switch it over, right foot forward, rocking forward to bring tension through the front of the left hip, arm comes up and over. Release from there. Let's come onto our backs. 
crossing the left foot over the right knee, hugging that in towards the body. Trying not to arch through the spine as we do this. We don't want to round forward. Good, let's switch it over. Right foot on left knee, hug that in. And release. Come on up, sitting. Hands behind your back, pulling the chest open. Let's look up and over one shoulder. Look up and over the other shoulder. release. All right, guys. That is it for me today. I hope you all have an awesome day. Keep active, keep healthy, keep safe. Ciao.